up. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. I lost my dad when I was 14. My dad is actually a retired, retired man. And my mom used design to feed the family. So I actually passing through difficult things. See, my dad died when I was in family five. So my mom had been struggling, struggling, struggling until I was done in secondary school. I got admission, but I could not go due to um, financial problems. I actually urinated on the bed till I was 17, making me grow up being inferior to my younger ones because I couldn't speak out. Since I had a problem, I couldn't actually voice out. I'm the first of four kids, three girls and one boy. And we grew in this house area Well, education is not really compulsory for female. So I got married when I was 19 at my own will. So I have a daughter now. I'm from your best state. From a family of six. My mom and dad were passed away. And anytime I'm going to school, I'll see my other friends in the street. They look out to me, they wish they were like me. I had that opportunity to go to school. So among my friends, I even have friends that are married and then they wish they could continue like me. And then their children also look up to me like their mom friends. I was in tertiary institution, I was in the hostel and I was still waiting on the bed. I, also, I had problems because at a point I couldn't sleep at night. I was scared of the dark, I was scared of the fact that I would urinate on the bed. So I switched my, my body, I conditioned my body to sleeping in the afternoon and not sleeping at night. So I would actually miss lectures just to sleep. Then at night, I'll cover up for those lectures I missed and all that. I just wanted a change. I just wanted a story of my own. So ever since, I've been trying to get a voice. My dad's family see us as my mom's children. Since my dad is no longer alive, we think there's nothing good that is ever going to come out of, out of us by Shanda and things will change. When I went for my Positemi in the University of Ibadan, I stayed with a friend and we were really discussing plans about what I would do after the position since I would be free for the next for the whole year. Before then the dream for me has always been to study medicine and become a professor. But sometime in secondary school, I think when we were doing hands-on practicals, I discovered that I loved programming. It came to me very easily and I decided to make a career out of it. When I finished secondary school, I've always wanted to learn something. And so learning was when you ask for the fee, it's a big time. And then my parents had other things to do. So they couldn't afford paying for me to learn something. I signed up for the fellowship because I saw it as an opportunity to set my career on the path. It was my ambition since I was a child. I want to learn computer a lot. I want to become a computer wizard. I'm a cybersecurity student and in school we learn more of the theoretical part of cybersecurity. But this initiative Help me to learn about the particular aspect of cyber security. I noticed that the world that we revolve around now is more about technology. So why not of the part, part of the generation that are more knowledgeable about that? I love everything that has to do with tech. I'm always attracted to people that are into technology. I didn't really have interest in anything concerning computer, cyber, until when I went to a bank and then I saw young looking lady she was looking so smart and active and she was a computer literate and like I like to be like this place. It was a chance for me to go into another different dimension of something. People don't dwell into technology too much, especially this type of security. So I was like if we, if a girl can do this, if me can do this, like getting the knowledge of this cyber security, then I can make an impact. I never studied anything computer related, but I just wanted to do something different, learn something new, so I was open for it. I feel this opportunity will change my life because here I get to interact, learn from other girls, other people with different stories. It will change my life because I'll make impact. I'm going to learn outside the confines of my society. 
and I'll be informed and not deformed so that I'll be safe from going into extinction. Permit me to use PG so that I don't go for MAGA. The society we are now, designed married women as okay, they can they are only good for staying at home. So I don't want to be one. So I want to be a married woman that will fight for our family, for our country and the society at large. Like it's going to change my like okay. I'm going to know a lot of things. I'm gonna explore people <laughs> like I am overwhelmed. Like this opportunity that I'm getting is basically driving me into the workforce. Yeah. I've always worried about what I'll do after school. All the knowledge I'm getting, I've not always been sure what I'll do when I leave school. I think this program practically eliminates that worry. I'll be part of the way I'm more smart and successful. I'll be have more knowledge on computer and the cyber security. I will have many ideas. I will see different people. I will have new knowledge, new ideas. Yes. I learned something they said, it's good to learn little of many than many of little. Putting it basically on my profession, accounting, I really want to be very different from others. This came very timely because I was so confused at, as at the time I saw it. When I said I was so confused, I was confused to the point that my blood pressure actually rise. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should apply for a school, what course to take, what, what states to go to. So when it came, I was like, I think this is an opportunity where I could actually learn something and focus on something. What I hope to achieve at the end of everything is power, success, money. <laughs> To be smart, you know, I have a very smart in computer. I really don't know a lot, a lot in computer, but I know now I can have it. To be an ethical hacker. Well, I see a lot of potential by participating in this fellowship, but I think top of my list is first, I'll become a professional in a specific field, and in the long run, I'll also have an opportunity to give back. It will help me to become a literate. I was so encouraged with the story I heard from Mom Confident. I want a story of my own. I want a voice. I want to be able to help out. Like I want people that feel so confused and discouraged at the point to be able to look up to me and say, if she can do it, I can also do it. I want my family to see that, okay, this girl, they think nothing good is going to come out of, okay, something good has come out of her. Thank you very much, CyberSafe Foundation. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I promise to do my best. Esher Gidiga, CyberSafe Foundation. Yeah, wait, we are really grateful for giving me this opportunity to empower myself, to develop myself. Most of the fellow of CyberSafe Foundation, one for the talk for me. I'm very happy to be given this opportunity. I want to say a big thank you to CyberSafe Foundation. Thank you very much, baby. CyberSafe Foundation for this opportunity that they give us. CyberSafe for investing in us. Thank you so much for investing in us. I can't say thank you, you know. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Indeed, it's really educative. It has, it's, I believe it's going to help me a lot. Mungo so say, we are not going to jeopardize the opportunity for anything. We hope we won't disappoint you. Know. To CyberSafe Foundation, Thank you so very much for this opportunity given to me. Mungo De Society Cyber Safe Foundation, thank you for giving us this opportunity. You will never regret. For investing in me. I love you.